at the weather, again, keeping an eye on those tropical issues that we're facing, maybe. Bill, what do you think? I think we all have to be prepared and uh, keep an eye on our hurricane emergency plans. You got to do that here the next couple of days. Let's start off with the rain, Rudy, that we saw earlier. We had a severe thunderstorm that ended at 5 p.m. We take a look at the radar now, and that uh, storm really has dissipated. Still a little bit of lightning up near Rockport and a couple of spot showers moving through Corpus Christi over uh, Corpus Christi Bay. But for the most part, uh, the big, bad, the severe weather has dissipated. Now, talking about big and bad in the tropics, make that three disturbances now likely to be named. The one in the Caribbean, the one in the Atlantic, and one just new in the Atlantic coming off the coast of Africa. We'll check that Caribbean one first because that's the closest 80% chance of development. The one in the middle of the Atlantic has a 90% chance of development. The one coming off Africa, a 30% chance of development. KTRIPLITV.com slash weather. Click on Hurricane Central. Next name's up, Laura and Marco. And for the 6 o'clock news, I'm going to have to check what the end name storm will be because that's going to be likely named also. All right, the Caribbean storm. Let's take a look at the spaghetti models, and there is the turn we've been expecting to see. The question continues to be, where will this make landfall? This is going to be a depression or a storm, but landfall could be anywhere from Mexico to Florida. So lots of questions still to be answered on this. And if it does come this way... We'll start seeing effects on Sunday, but again, there's still lots of time and lots of questions to be answered. It will start turning more when this slows down the actual track of the storm. It's moving relatively quickly now through the Caribbean. Again, many questions about the final track and intensity. Again, it could end up anywhere from Mexico to Florida. And again, if it ends up coming this way, the earliest we would see effects would be late on Sunday. Now, this, is, uh, this caught my interest today, the Atlantic track. And look at that. The Atlantic wave could reach the Gulf as a hurricane. In fact, this could really wind up in the her wind up in strength and intensity in the Gulf of Mexico. So here's another one we really need to keep an eye on. We're looking at uh, maybe the middle part of next week if anything happens on that. So listen, putting it all together right now, until a storm actually forms, everything we're talking about is conjecture. Listen, don't be scared. Got to be aware. We're in hurricane season. We're moving through these already. And you have to be prepared. So now is the time, if you haven't already, to review your hurricane emergency plan. A live picture from the Lexcam 90 right now. The high today, 99. That's the hottest this year. Moderate breeze out of the east at 16 miles per hour. Time cast for tomorrow. Sunny to partly cloudy and hot. A high of 98. It's going to feel like 104. Look at the high temperatures tomorrow. Very hot. Upper 90s to lower 100s, including 102 in George West. Water temperature is 88. No advisories for the base for the Gulf. Sun up at 703. Two high tides a quarter after six in the morning, quarter after three in the afternoon. And the seven-day forecast, sunny and hot through the weekend, Rudy. And then the tropics. Update at six. Back to you.